what is essentially a company-wide battle royal is taking place live here tonight and I cannot wait for this one who the hell is going to win there are bodies flying everywhere anybody could do it anybody could go on and face Sting at Heatwave and what the hell is this it's AJ Styles with an assault on the flipping Shawn Michaels in that briefcase shot with the Styles clash so many men only one can win and it looks as if it's not going to be Orton but Orton snap in here and eliminate an angle he's not even in the damn match anymore and an RKO from Orton angle eliminate at the hands of the Viper there's only two left it's Hardy or Punk which one of these guys is going on to face Sting it looks like it's going to be Hardy Hardy goes to eliminate Punk by reversal and Hardy's gone but who's this? Shawn Michaels is back he was never eliminated and now Michaels looking to eliminate CM Punk looking for that sweet chin music to take him out of it but sent over the top Punk has done it Punk has done what nobody expected him to do here tonight and he has won this battle royal he is the number one contender for Sting's World Heavyweight Championship the match will take place at Heatwave it's for the World Heavyweight title CM Punk versus Sting This past week, The Undertaker officially returned. A battle royal was held to crown the number one contender. And old chaos literally broke loose here in No Limits Wrestling tonight. The two men who are going to square off at Heatwave will go face to face, toe to toe, nose to nose, in the middle of the ring for the first time ever live here tonight. Well, they say we'll find out, but also the big show's going to go one on one with The Undertaker tonight. It is going to be for the tag team titles at Heatwave, the Brothers of Destruction versus the NWO, but Undertaker's back, and his first challenge is the big show. And as mentioned before, the two men who are going to go one on one at Heatwave are in the ring tonight. They face off. What will they have to say to each other before their main event title match? Find out tonight. And it's certainly no doubt that something historic could very well happen right here tonight in Pittsburgh. This man's hometown. And tonight, Kurt Angle has more than being in his hometown on his mind. He also has Randy Orton on his mind. The Viper, who this past week on Metal followed up his attack last week with an RKO at the conclusion of his matchup with Jeff Hardy. The wrestling machine has his fans, particularly here, where he was raised. And now, he enters the ring with a purpose, not only to entertain these fans, but to call out Randy Orton, you feel, especially after the way that Randy Orton cost Kurt Angle a shot of the world title. He wasn't even in the match, he'd been eliminated, and the sore loser that Orton is, eliminates Orton, Eliminates Angle even and delivers an RKO, but what's he got to say to him now? But nothing was going to stop your Olympic hero from coming back to his hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania! Yeah! And I'll tell you right now, it's true. It's damn true. You see, growing up in Pittsburgh, I've been told my whole life I couldn't do anything, and I've always proved the critics wrong. Now that you're about to see, because you're looking at the man who's going to single-handedly change the face forever! You want to know why? 
No, I know you have your hat. Why don't you accept my open challenge? Get yourself an extra paycheck so I can whoop your ass and break your ankle in two! And such intensity from Kurt Angle, and it looks as if the challenge has been accepted. Randy Orton wants to get his hands on Kurt Angle face to face, you would imagine, but recently it's been from the back behind attacks, sneak attacks, especially on metal. And where the hell is Randy Orton? And Kurt Angle wants to get, oh my god, and Randy Orton, look at him, slivering through the crowd, slivering behind Orton, behind Angle, oh my! Angle wasn't falling for that. Angle caught him out. It was bait. Angle knew the horn was going to sneak up, and he has. And now he's in that ankle lock, and he has nowhere to go. Oh my god, he's tapping out. Kurt Angle said he wants to break Orton's ankle in two, and he may very well do it. This Pittsburgh crowd behind Angle. Oh my god, somebody's got to get some help out here, or Andy Orton's ankle's going to shatter. And Orton doesn't have his fans here tonight. It's all behind Angle. Oh, thank God. For an extra couple seconds there, Randy Orton, you feel, could have had his ankle broken at the hands of Kurt Angle. But the bait worked. Kurt Angle knew that Randy Orton wasn't going to come out here face to face and face him like a man. He did it like a snake. He slivered up through the crowd, behind the ring had entered the ring behind Kurt Angle and Angle knew it Angle knew what was going to happen he scouted the situation and then locking in that ankle up and really did intend to break the ankle of Randy Orton and it looks as if challenge accepted Angle and Orton well that's an intense volatile situation here in Pittsburgh but also and there's our truth this past week on Metal went to the commissioner asking for an intercontinental title match and apparently Gonna go and ask for one again and get back to him. Oh my god. What? Next round Oh my. Well that's not exactly the commissioner, is it? Oh truth running into the brothers of destruction out here. Oh my god. Look, uh, I'm sorry about that, alright? I'll I'll ask you I'll answer your question now, alright? I imagine you wanted to talk to me about the Intercontinental title match. You know you want me to put you in? Yeah, sorry. Change plans? For the moment, you're not in that match. But something may open up in future. For the moment, though, tonight, it's going to be a number one contenders match. It's going to be AJ Styles versus Hernandez. And the winner is going to go on and face Chris Jericho for the Intercontinental Championship at Heatwave. So, again, so sorry, Ron, but I'll take you into consideration for a, a future title match. Uh, can someone help him? Someone will help you, Truth. Don't worry. I'm sorry about them, by the way. Crazy. Damn right, that was crazy. Our truth don't know what just hit him. The brothers of destruction going wild. I do have to admit though, I do feel a little bit bad for our truth, especially being in the wrong place at the wrong time like that. I mean, what are the odds of running into the BOD, the brothers of destruction back there? But nevertheless, our truth not getting his shot tonight, and apparently not going to get the opportunity to because tonight it's going to be AJ Styles versus Hernandez in a number one contenders match. And you want to talk about contenders, this man, the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy, is certainly, at the moment, a top contender for the X-Division Championship. After last week, he pinned Austin Aries in the middle of the ring. The X-Division Champion was beaten for the first time ever by Jeff Hardy here in NLW. And that is obviously not going to be sitting well with the champion. And Jeff Hardy, in the next coming weeks, is going to want to capitalize on that, you feel especially in this X Division match right now where Jeff Hardy is going to go one on one with a mass luchador, Sin Cara and Sin Cara as well has been on a roll although he did suffer a beating from the hands of Christopher Daniels last week in fact it was a shock upset victory by Sin Cara over Christopher Daniels won the biggest of his career and then after that matchup Daniels contemplated retirement of all things but it all turned out to be one giant swerve when he hit Sin Cara right in the face with a microphone. Christopher Daniels has got an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with Austin Aries later tonight. However, Sin Cara and Jeff Hardy in this X Division matchup is obviously going to want to, one of them at least, going to impress the commissioner 
and further cement them as a contender for the X Division Championship. Well, Jeff Hardy obviously on a roll after beating Austin Aries last week and did have a grueling matchup against Kurt Angle this past week. But he's going to try and not let it set in his way of beating Sin Cara. A massive drop kick to him. Both of these men renowned for taking risks. Which one's going to take more risks and which ones are going to capitalise? It looks as if this one is at the moment. A roll through by Sin Cara. But now another roll through by Jeff Hardy. Now Sin Cara has him. And no, well, apparently not. Another roll through and various trainings of colours. And oh my god. A massive roundhouse kick. Delivered. Fuddening if that's even a word, right to the skull of Jeff Hardy. Obviously going to mangle a couple of brain cells, and look at that again, the springboard from the ropes to the head of Jeff Hardy, and Sin Cara wanting to capitalise on the victory he got over Daniels last week, with another victory over Jeff Hardy, but it's not going to be easy, there's a massive kick by Jeff Hardy to the face of Sin Cara, and he goes for the moonsault, but instead reversed into a reverse twist of fate, maybe, no. Again, with the bridge, and another roll through by Jeff Hardy and throws him over. Sin Cara with all the momentum, but that might have stopped him dead in his tracks. A massive uppercut by Jeff Hardy, the charismatic enigma, hitting him four up knuckles upside the head of the mask of Sin Cara. And now going for a back suplex, lands on his feet. And another drop kick by Jeff Hardy to send Sin Cara into the corner. This may be over very quickly here if Hardy has anything to do with it, but another risk. Did not pay off that time, went for the double leg stomp in the corner and now Sin Cara on the top looking for his patented sent arm bomb. Similar to Jeff Hardy's swan arm but he does not connect and Hardy moves out of the way. And now this may be the chance for Hardy to capitalise the twist of fate and this may be all but no, a kick out by Sin Cara. And Sin Cara could have sworn it was over there. Hardy obviously going to have to hit that Swanton anytime soon if he's got any chance of winning this. And look at this! From out of nowhere, where the hell did that armbar come from? And he's won it! Well, just as quickly as that, one of the most shocking victories of Sin Cara's career. And despite suffering the beating at the hands of Daniels last week, he did beat Daniels last week and once again is on a roll to beating Jeff Hardy. Well, if Jeff Hardy beat Austin Aries and Sin Cara beat Jeff Hardy, do you think that makes Sin Cara the new number one contender? I have no idea, but it certainly should, especially after that performance. Well, Hardy was still in shock after not getting the victory over that twist of fate, but it was the head scissors, the Hurricane Rana and the armbar combo for Sin Cara that he's used to defeat so many men in the past and has done it once again here tonight against Jeff Hardy and the unpredictability of this X Division here in NLW is truly magnificent and there you see the man who lost to Jeff Hardy last week and is the X Division champion right now but for how long will he be holding on to that title he's obviously looking at this matchup with intent he knows he sees two potential challenges here and anybody it's anybody's guess who could be the next challenger for the X Division title so chaotic and speaking of chaotic as we mentioned before, our truth's not getting a shot, but Hernandez is. Hernandez impressed the commissioner last week, so he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with AJ Styles tonight. The winner is going to go on and face Chris Jericho at Heatway for the Intercontinental title, and that matchup is in part two, which is up next. I have no followers and I have only brothers and sisters all in the name of cause. People are sheep. You understand me? They can't lead themselves. They need to be led. People buy and sell fear. They worship war. They crave war. And I'm not afraid of their wars. I created war. And I think it's time for the masses to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up and look at this line they living in, man. The world is deteriorating between their toes and they do nothing about it. They only stand there, they whisper and wonder, but they never do anything about it. But I've seen it all 
in my dreams and in my thoughts and above everything else I understand this is not the beginning <laughs> stand <laughs> <laughs>